A tip involving two taxpayer-funded loans took us to Darlington, South Carolina. City Councilwoman and her son both benefited from tens of thousands of dollars from Paycheck Protection Program loans. Our chief investigator, Jody Barr, set out to figure out whether this elected official truly owned a business with paychecks to protect. That's tonight's Politicians Payout as a Queen City News investigation. So this is the big boy here, this is the granddad. This is what we call a Dixie Well, we, well are you from the South? Dixie Chopper? Cisco Reed's still enjoying the fruits of his PPP loan. 50 inch, zero turn. Seven years ago, Reed started Elaine's son lawn care, an after work and weekend gig he calls his side hustle. <laughs> One stop shop. Reed applied for and was awarded a $20,832 PPP loan in May 2021, a year into the pandemic. Small Business Administration records show Reed asked for the loan to protect one paycheck in his sole proprietorship. It, it was able to help me to go from a push to a zero turn. And, and, and in this business, you got to have a zero turn. There's no way around it. You got to have good weed eaters. So this was bought with a loan? Yeah. You know, so people may look at this and they say, wait a minute, Cisco Reed, the title of the loan was Paycheck Protection Program, not Equipment Purchase Program. Mm -hmm. What but would you say for, to that? It was, it, but it was for small businesses. Federal records show Reed's loan was forgiven in June 2022. I know in this PPP loan er era during that time, there was a lot of scams, scheme, but you can see that I gave Doc that I had the business before PPP loan, I had it during the PPP loan, and I have it after the PPP loan. How you doing, Ms. Reed? Hey, I'm Jody Barr with Queen City News. Hey. Hey. I do a problem. I want to these. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I, can, I, I got hugs too. I give hugs. Oh, hey. okay. Can we talk to you about this uh, PPP loan? Well, you know, I got five minutes. I'll only take one. The PPP loan database also shows Darlington City Councilwoman Elaine Reed, Cisco Reed's mother, received a $20,833 PPP loan. We filed record requests with City Hall and the state looking for corporation filings and business licenses. The state had no records for the Reeds, but the city provided copies of business licenses for Cisco Reed, one for 2019, nothing in 2020, and another issued to him in June 2021, three weeks after the government approved his PPP loan. Make sure all the newspapers get this. Make... But the city had no record showing the councilwoman ever held a business license there. We asked her to schedule an interview with us, but she wouldn't. We found her outside City Hall last month. And I was doing it to um, just kind of supplement my son. And his is Elaine's son's, and that's how it was spent. So you got a PPP loan, but you don't have an employee. You don't own a business. Well, I do have an employee at that time. Um, I mean, I just, you know, paid them to be able to do the work. And that was to be able to help um, with the law and, you know, the record, the, the, do the work. The other thing that we've seen is, I mean, it is not uncommon at all for people just to make up a business. Former United States Attorney Bill Nettles knows this and says similar questions surround hundreds of PPP loan cases across the country. He and his Carolina whistleblowers law groups represented PPP loan fraudsters and the whistleblowers who've uncovered fraud, waste, and abuse against taxpayers. Where is the trouble when you talk about PPP loan fraud? That's a real, that's a real good question, all right? The fraud in PPP loans is not in how the money was spent, basically. The fraud is in the application for the loan or the application for the forgiveness from the loan, either exaggerating in the application for the loan or exaggerating in the application for forgiveness or just outright lying. And when you see that, you know, that is fraud. I did not even expect to get it. I was, I was surprised. But if you don't have a business to support applying, did you fill out the loan paperwork? Yeah. And did you certify on there that you had a business and that you were in and business? See, but I was doing it in because I've worked with my son.
The loan, she says, was to pay two men who worked for her around her home. The PPP loan database shows the councilwoman listed her business type as self-employed individuals with one employee. She reported her business classification as loan and garden tractor and home loan and garden equipment manufacturing, a business that she listed existing more than two years. But the public database does not show the business name. It, it seems as though if there's not a business in your name and then you got to pay I, if you I loan, th that, may be, that may be a problem. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll just have to deal with the consequences. You've got a bug on you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I didn't even know he had applied. Didn't have a clue. And then uh, we were saying, I mean, it was just so much mixed up. You think y'all might have had one loan too many? <laughs> For real. So as far as what you want to know, I don't know if it's just to what. I mean, what we want to know is, is did you get a loan? Did you get 20, yeah, almost 21,000? It's public knowledge. I got right. a loan. But <laughs> is, it, is it something you should have gotten, should have had, well, see, given the fact that you don't own a business? Listen, exactly. If that's what you want to do, according to whatever, maybe not. I didn't even, I just filled the paperwork. I was, I was given that. Who gave it to you? Lord, you know. Who, who gave you the application or told you about it? Oh, I got that. Gosh, there were so many of that around, I don't even remember them. Cisco Reed told us someone also approached him about the PPP loan opportunity, but he too could not remember who that was. I know we didn't go to the same people, so. Who did you use to help you with yours? Um, I went to a, a, a tax service. Oh, I don't know what her name is. In Darlington? I, no, I want to say, matter of fact, I want to say in Hartsfield. You don't, you don't remember who that no, was? No, I don't remember, where it was. We don't remember who, who, who it was. We asked both Reeds to help clear up these questions by showing us a copy of their PPP records. The government required applicants to, in good faith, give the details of their business, payroll amounts, and the number of employees who they paid payroll taxes for, including any independent contractors for whom they filed IRS Form 1099 miscellaneous. The government requires borrowers to hang on to employment records for four years and three years for all other records. Can you share your application for that loan with if us? I can find it. A month after this interview, the councilwoman tells us she still has not found the copy of her PPP loan records. She did tell us she's working on getting her loan forgiven. You know, if I could see the application, that see, might see, clear this yeah. up. Cliff, what up? See, I don't know what the problem is. Well, the, the problem is, is that you got a business, a PPP loan to pr yeah. protect paychecks for a business that you have, and we got no record of you having a business. Okay, so that's the fact. That's it. A report from the U.S. Small Business Administration published last month shows more than $200 billion in suspected fraudulent payments made from pandemic loans. More than 1,000 indictments, 803 people arrested, and 529 convictions across the country. The government's recovered only $30 billion of the $200 billion lost to pandemic relief fraud. Both Cisco Reed and his mother Elaine contend they followed the third-party advice that led them to their loans. Your job is to kind of defame or show the bad side of the negative. There's no we, negative. We bad. wouldn't have come here if that was okay. our job, if that's Look, what we're asking. Sweetheart, everything, my intentions are all good. They are asking for. I spoke with both Councilwoman Elaine Reed and her son Cisco earlier this week. Both tell me they cannot find their PPP loan applications or their forgiveness paperwork. As we told you in the report, Cisco Reed's loan is forgiven, but the Small Business Administration's online records show Elaine Reed's loan is not paid off and not yet forgiven.